What's going on Reloaders and Shooters? On this video, we're gonna talk about the uh, Savage 12 High Capacity Magazine. Uh, this is the conventional five round magazine here, Savage 12, and this is the 20 plus high capacity magazine with the P mag attached right on the bottom. Okay, so um, as you guys know, my channel has already been demonetized. I'm not making any money out of this uh, when I make this video. And um, I'm gonna apologize ahead of time because uh, we'll post uh, small videos at a time. I don't have the time to edit and, and, and put this thing together to make it you know a lot bearable to watch. Uh, and I do apologize. I'm gonna just make a video and post it so that you guys can start and instead of me, oh, instead of you guys waiting for a couple months to put all this thing together and, and, and start your project. So first let's go disassemble these two and show you guys the internals. And I'm pretty sure you guys would know as soon as I disassemble, you guys know what to do. Okay, let's go do it. Okay, first let's go disassemble the uh, Savage 12 magazine. This is the five round magazine. This I already actually started uh, making this a while back, but I made a mistake. So uh, just a heads up, you don't have to remove this uh, piece of, of, of metal that holds this uh, little plastic right here in the back, okay? So uh, find yourself a small flat head screwdriver like this and wedge this up against this um, area right here where the uh, piece of metal that sticks out and, and goes into this little hole here. So place it up against it. You can push down with your thumb here, wedge it up against that metal and then peel it out like that. Now uh, make sure this doesn't back back into that hole again, okay? So hold it in place. And then now place the this flathead screwdriver on the side in between this metal, it should come right up. Okay. So while this thing is out, this is actually, it, it would be like this, all right? The same as this one here. So before you remove this, go ahead and make a mark right on the back side here, just so you are not going to cut it on the wrong side like I did on this here, okay? So it would show like that, just put a little mark that goes like that, because you're gonna cut this anyway. Just put a little mark in that box right there. Okay. That's good enough. Just give you an idea that you're gonna be uh, cutting on this side and not on this side of this metal. Okay, that is removed. Okay, now this right here. And I haven't modified or cut any of the, uh, the spring on this. This is intact. I haven't done anything on this. Uh, heads up on this side, you don't have to uh, file this side. It would it would slide just perfectly um, without modifying this. I made a mistake. So uh, because I was playing it by ear and just kind of, you know, try and error. So that's that. That's all it is. Um, this brass right here was, um, it was, I, I filed this brass so that when you are putting the uh, round on top of it, it would not snag onto this uh, corner here, okay? And I drilled a, a hole on this brass at about, let's say 12 o'clock and three o'clock. Um, and then, so you can place the string right on that. Don't make it too tight so that it would, it would move around, okay? It needs to move around to prevent it from jamming. Okay, and that's that. And then I, I, I put a, a, a cut right in the middle there just so I know that it, it, it is a dummy brass. It just sits right there. And that's all it is. There's no primer on that. It's not modified. So there it is. And then also this right here, we are going to measure the uh, the PMAG from, from here all the way to the bottom. Uh, this plastic, it goes all the way to this edge right here. It sits perfectly right on that edge, like how it would. Um, I have this LW uh, LAWM uh, magazine because it's gonna be 
I want it to look cool because it's see-through. So I'm gonna be using this magazine. So basically it sits like this, like that. And the P-Mag, although the front is a little bit more, um, uh, say a lot more uh, narrower or kind of like um, uh, more of a, a contour type, this one's a lot more squared. Um, it would it would work just fine. It's it's the same. It, it, uh, a more, the most important part is is this side here, this wall here, and this wall here. It would sit perfectly right in here, right there. It would sit perfectly there. So no worries. Okay, so that's the internals. I I couldn't think of anything else that would uh, that would matter. So that's all it is. Okay, and inside of that, I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, and the hardest part is is cutting this metal right here. So get a good blade and get a good Dremel and uh, make sure you have wearing your PPE as well. Okay, very important because um, be, uh, small pieces of of of, um, of stuff will be flying or metal flying all over the place. So uh, make sure you protect your your vision. So there it is. That's that's all there is to it. Okay, so that's the first step. I'll just give you guys an idea of how this thing would look like. And I will post, I will take a picture of this and, and post it on this video. All right, so after this, we'll go to our first step, which is uh, cutting or measuring, I'm sorry, measuring the, uh, the magazine and cutting. Stand by. All right, so I found out that the LAWM uh, see-through magazine is not going to work because the way the follower uh, was designed is not the same as the, uh, the P-Mag. This is the P-Mag design and LAWM has uh, some, uh, some kind of uh, guide over here on the right uh, compared to the P-Mag, which is the guide. That the guides are over here on both of these plastics right here. LAWM follower would only go about about a third of the way compared to this one here that would go almost uh, two thirds of the way. Okay, this is the one that is not modified yet. And this is the uh, one that is modified. See where that brass pushes all the ammo all the way up. So this prevents us from modifying this follower. So it will make our life a lot easier. Okay, so let's just use a P-Mag, or if you can find a P-Mag uh, see-through one, that would be awesome, I believe. I just love how the, um, the magazine looks, if you can see the ammo. Just like this one here. See how nice and pretty that thing is? <laughs> but oh well, anyway, let's go measure the uh, magazine. To measure the magazine, you have two ways of doing this. One, you can get one of these uh, calipers and measure the uh, the magazine, which is, I think, I believe this is a uh, 2.6. Uh, 2.6 of width. Um, both sides doesn't really matter because it is perfectly um, lined up with these uh, piece of metal right here. So you are going to cut right on the very edge of that. Okay, and also the same with the front. See where the front is? Um, on this side, you're gonna be cutting on the very edge of that. So you don't need to measure. All you have to do really is to find out the back part, which is, I believe it's 0.6. Yeah, about 0.6, okay. And the other method is to cut the magazine, and then once you're done, Set it right on top of here and 
uh, uh, trace it with a uh, marker or something and you are done. So those are the two methods. Um, after that, after you're done with that, then you are going to cut the magazine, which is makes a life a lot easier because you are going to cut right along that line there. Okay, make sure you give it some room, okay? About maybe one eighth, one eighth of an inch so that in case that you screwed up, you can still manage to, uh, you know, file it and make sure it's nice and flat because you need to cut this thing perfectly so it would sit perfectly right on this frame. It would sit perfectly like that, okay? So let's go start cutting.